Yeah, and so it's interesting, right, because your medicine 3.0 isn't necessarily, you know, people are going to live forever. It's more so just a shift to the three things, like you said, which is personalized medicine, early prevention, and evidence-informed. Have you ever thought about what medicine 4.0 looks like? Is that even on your radar? Or is the more of the focus is how do we make this huge shift to 3.0, which is going to create so much benefit for people? Yeah, I haven't. I don't think I have enough clarity as to what medicine 4.0 would look like yet versus things that I don't think I will experience in my lifetime that will just be a part of medicine 3.0, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. And when you think about that transition, which you mentioned we're slowly in now, do you have an idea of how far out you think medicine 3.0 is? Not necessarily at the individual level. So like, you know, there's always a difference when people could access it yep. versus the standard of care. Do you have an idea or any rough idea of when that turn to the standard of care becomes? No, I think it's too soon to say. It's really going to depend on how quickly people adopt um, and, and sort of, you know, basically demand change. Yeah, and I don't think that's possible to predict, right? Uh, let's use an example that's, you know, completely different, but, but I think if you could go back in a time machine, you wouldn't know, right? So if you went back in a time machine to 